Happy Monday, everyone. Let me give a moment for everyone to wake up, join us. Good morning, everyone, who are waking up with us on the other side of the world. Hope everyone had a beautiful, restful weekend. Got a bunch of fun stuff for y'all today. <clears throat> Gonna show you some really beautiful stuff on Kickstarter. Got a coffin right here. <laughs> so that's slightly out of the way. There we go. Don't be needing that today. All right. Good morning, everyone. Let's give a shout out. Who we got on today? Who's with us? Got five of y'all. Give a shout out. If you are in the room, let me know you're live. Had to move coffin out of the way. All right. So lots of fun stuff has been going on here at HQ. Um, we shipped out the La Muerta Kickstarter uh, in the last week, which um, bravo to Brandy and the crew. Um, they really, they really gave it their all. And thank you very much. Thank you very much for your house crew. You guys did an amazing job. Um, I used to be a part of the crew. Trying to get these Kickstarters out of time isn't easy, um, whether they be very large or even, you know, half the size of what we're used to. It's still a lot of work. There's still a lot of stuff that um, you got to check, double check, triple check to make sure you get the orders right. So, again, a round of applause to Brandy and the Warehouse crew. So, hope everyone is enjoying their stuff they got. Uh, I hope you enjoy some of the stuff I'll be showing you today. Um, we'll start off with eBay. Melissa Williams, hi, how are you? Bob, it's always good to see you, Bob. Hi, Bob. Um, I got one of these available. This is a Dan Mendoza Lament print, 11 by 7, and he was kind enough to put a remark on it. I only have one of these. It's available right now. 40 bucks is the first bid. Great deal. Really beautiful piece. Uh, I wish I had the comic of this because I really love this image. And I like Dan Mendoza's sense of humor. Uh, he's, he's definitely got a really good one. So, got that available. Also, if anyone else is a Mendoza fan, I also have this awesome. This is the Reckoning. This is the three piece set. Comes with the Reckoning Homage Gold, done by Dan Mendoza. There is a silver one. And then also in the three pack is the Homage Classic and it has a remark by Dan Mendoza right up there. So I got two. Hey Troy, how are you? Hey Taylor, everybody joining. Thank you for joining us. Troy, how was your weekend? I hope it was good. You and Kitchen have a beautiful weekend together. So right there, there's two things we have on eBay. Hi Brandy, you can come on in, don't be shy. You can show off the cool thing I put up on eBay you gave me on Friday. I put up some Monty Moore art books, and each one <laughs> has a remark inside of Lady Death. I see it. Oh, right there. Whoa, look at that. I have four of these. All four are different. So whenever orders come in, that's the one I'm picking first, second, third, fourth. Boom. It's the way it goes. But you're going to get this beautiful... Remark from Monty Moore inside of there. We got four of them. Four and that's it. So thank you, Brandy, for finding those for us. Thank you, Brandy. Thank you. <laughs> Yay! I definitely think we should make tie-dye shirts like that. The black would be orange. I really like how that looks. Check this out. She took her boo-boo shirt and made it to something amazing. I really love all the tie-dyes. It's very cool. I think a tie-dye version of this style shirt would be perfect. I'll look. All right. So everyone tie-dye your shirts. That's tie-dye. Um, we'll applaud you and put you on TV. I don't know. <laughs> so there's three items I have with remarks. I do have four on the eBay store. Anyone's new, just click on the... Cooking in there. Dude, it is cooking. Did you get any of those storms, though, Troy? Because uh, I got a slight sprinkle, which really pissed off the wife and I, because um, we live in the downtown um, 
Uptown District, and there is just been sprinkles in the downtown Phoenix area, and it is horrible because it's so bloody hot. Um, that we were hoping for at least some relief, but no such luck. So, anyone in the other parts of the valley got lots of rain, please wish it my way into Central Phoenix. Troy, I'm jealous. I don't know if I can talk to you ever again. Anywho, <laughs> I'm just kidding, Troy. We all love you here. A uh, couple things I uploaded on eBay that I uh, was completely out of, and I was lucky to just find a few of them. Um, and these could be close to the last, the last. Um, so I found the Lady Death Damnation Gate Tentress. This is only $8. Oh, dude. I hope it was nice and windy and it cooled down the temperature in your house because losing AC in the summer in Arizona is like a total death sentence. It's horrible. Horrible. So that is the Damnation Game Tentress. I didn't have any on eBay. I have about three or four and that's it. Uh, another really cool piece that I didn't have any of. I had the Lady Death <clears throat> Unholy Ruin number two incentive by Dan Mendoza. So I got about four or five of these on the eBay store. I did not have them previously. I also didn't have the Apocalyptic Abyss uh, Naughty editions from the direct market. I have two, two up so far. I've got to put my finger This is a Richard Ortiz edition. I have two to three left, and that's it. I just found them on Friday. Um, oh, cool, cool, cool. Another really cool thing. It's the number three. It's a reckoning, but it's the Dark Queen edition. This is a number three. Put one on eBay on Friday. Has Schwarzky crystals on it. Just beautiful piece. And this was from the WonderCon Anaheim show. And it's number three out of 99. Uh, focus! That's it. I got the one. I got the one. Troy, this is a family show. Oh, God. This is not Mutual of Omaha's Wild Kingdom, Troy. <laughs> some of you might get that reference. Some of you don't. Uh, those who do, we're old. Uh, we probably grew up watching a lot of TV in the 70s and early 80s. Um, so, yeah. Another thing I did not know I did not have at all on eBay was the Unholy Ruin Incentive Number 1. Unholy Ruin Number 1 Incentive Cover. I didn't have any of these. So I now have two on the eBay store. Um, I think we are almost out of these. Um, but who knows? I know uh, whenever we go off site or hoping we have some extra stock, usually we're pretty lucky we run across them. So, And I'm really happy I found one of these. It's the only one we have. I, I just... This is it. The only one. Evil Ernie, War of the Dead, number one. This is the B cover. This is the premier cover or premium cover, I believe. Wow. I can't believe I, I, I'm so happy to find this. This was cool. Um, I remember back in the day, I actually was able to get my hand on one of these and I couldn't believe it. I think my friend Justin was a little jealous because we had a little competition over who could get the coolest comics and runs. Like we were big Faust fans and Lady Death Evil Army fans. So... We tried to one-up each other on our collection. But he had some of the coolest numberings uh, for some of his stuff because he had the 666 numbers and the 77. He always tried to match up those. And I was just like, I just want one. But my buddy had to have it all. So, uh, A couple other things I uploaded on eBay. We have the silver challenge coin. Uh, a couple folks have already started picking these up. I have the bronze challenge coin hey robert bradford what's up brother one bronze i got 20 of each of these and of course it isn't silver it isn't bronze it's the lovely beautiful gold challenge coin i have 20 of these available uh a bud root cover i wish i wish i've only seen one, ran across one, uh, gosh, I want to say it was back in February, March, 
and I think we use that for the uh, Coffin Comics uh, online uh, promo we did uh, after they canceled the um, <clears throat> Emerald City Comic Con. Bud Root. Um, you know, Paul, if you'd like, um, send a message to me at inquiries at coughingcomics.com. Sometimes I do run across um, other editions. I have a customer list going for people looking for certain things. Uh, inquiries at Coffin Comics, um, direct it towards me and I'll put you on my list. And if I find something, uh, I'll reach out to you so you can get that book in your hands. I love helping people complete their collections. So yeah, uh, if you want to send me a list, do so. A couple other things. Um, Kickstarter. Oh my God. We had a, uh, couple announcements. I want to show you guys full enchilada as Brandy dances in the hallway. Dancing in the hallway, Brandy, there you go. <laughs> you know, we work hard here, but we also have a lot of fun. We play, hard. we play harder than we work. <laughs> not true. It's not true. My tears said otherwise. All right, Brandy's tears said otherwise. Yes, please do. Yeah, Miguel, Paul, um, ask around the groups too. Um, some people have been um, swapping and helping people complete collections, so definitely go ahead. Uh, we made the announcement on Friday, the Violet Metal Edition for Treacherous Infamy. These are just going to be tip-ins, guys. And this is beautiful. I really love the color of this Colette Turner one. I just love the silver and the violet. It just really complements each other. I think it's a really beautiful piece, and this is something we're just throwing in. We're just, bink, just throwing 10 in for folks. Um, randomly throughout all orders and tiers. So you could be a very lucky individual. Has tears... <laughs> well, yeah, that's probably true, Miguel. <laughs> yes, everybody, justice for Jeff. Poor Jeff. Um, another thing that we announced too last week, uh, might have been the week prior, but the sculpted editions. Treacherous Infamy sculpted edition. This is cool. We... Uh, did something, a sculpted edition for La Muerta, which um, I can't wait to see folks pull them up or pull them out of the shipments. So yeah, these are really cool. I love this. Um, I think it's a, just a radical idea and only us here at Coffin Comics can offer something that truly amazing and unique because we're Coffin Comics, of course. But here's some other stuff. Uh, if you haven't backed us on Kickstarter, Please go to Kickstarter, type in Treacherous Infamy, and click on that and um, take a look at all the beautiful stuff we have that I'll be showing you here today. These are all mystery envelopes. If you notice the theme of swimsuit, then you are correct. It is very hot here in Arizona. Oh, Bob. I'd love to see a picture of that. But it's always hot in Arizona, except for maybe three weeks out of the year, it's not hot. It's actually pleasurable. But no, normally um, it's hot or even hotter. But these are what we're offering on our Kickstarter. These are the mystery envelope stuff. And mystery envelopes are limited to uh, under a thousand mystery envelopes. They are going quick. I've been helping out on the help desk uh, with people with their pledges and whatnot and it's been crazy um mystery envelopes have been an add-on i have definitely uh been having a lot to do with uh in my two weeks of doing uh this bob is santa bob everyone remember that everyone give a shot i want to hear a big shout out to bob rules from everyone come on everyone let's show, show bob some love He's always out there trying to help you guys out. He's always trying to get people collections. He's always trying to do the good for all, the fiends and the sworn. He's just an amazing guy. So I want to see shouts out to Bob today. So these are the sealed envelopes. They'll come in this really cool envelope like so. It's a beautiful sticker telling you how many is on there. And then also, we're randomly throwing in BP editions. Um, I saw one actually in someone's La Muerta um, Kickstarter. She uh, thought she uh, there would have been a mistake on the book, 
and only see, there we go. Bob rules, Bob rules, Bob rules. Oh, Miguel took it to a whole nother level. Right on, Melissa. Thank you for joining everyone. Everyone shout out to Bob because Bob does a lot of work for you all. Thank you, Troy. Thank you, everybody. Bob, I hope you felt the love in the room. And also Omegas are thrown in. These are like one of a kinds. We throw those in in a mystery envelope. Um, but as for my story, some lady opened up her mystery envelope. She's like, I think I got the wrong book, blah, blah, blah. I was uh, helping out on customer service. She sent pictures and I looked at the pictures like, oh my God, you got one of the BPs. You got one of the rare ones we were gonna throw into a mystery envelope. And she was totally ecstatic. So congratulations. As you see, everyone's a winner at Coffin Comics. We also have a nice five piece metallic card set. These are really great. And not only that, with Kickstarter, we always offer a value proposition. Each physical award frees a free unlocked bonus item, free US shipping, free digital download, and a free Brian Polito autograph and certificate of authenticity. If uh, you would like that, you don't need to have the book signs, it's just something we offer. Got to add some names to it. It's not easy being Santa, Bob. I'll tell you what. <laughs> Thank you, everyone, for showing them some love. I appreciate it. Here's also the additions. We're going to be throwing in the Masters. This is going to be the David Harrigan Masters collection. And I really think this is a neat idea. We have a lot of contributors and a lot of artists that have done lots of images for us. And I think it's cool we're doing these cool little art books uh, in their honor. The hooligan autograph. <laughs> you don't want to see that chicken scratch, Ace. <laughs> Good afternoon, Ace. Thank you for joining us. This is the black and white premiere. It's also going to be something thrown in. Look at this. Is, this is what we have unlocked at two, uh, 250K. Look at all that. It's commemorative cards, stickers. Coffin First Devil Lock card, Memorial Card 2 and 3, Memorial Card 1 right over there. Look at that. Pogs. Yes, we are doing Pogs, people. Anyone who's a kid's in the 90s who played Pogs, you messed with my hangover. <laughs> There's a story behind that. We even got a little mini comic. Look at that. Look at that thing is so awesome. This is an amazing idea. Look at the, it could fit in your wallet. <laughs> this is really cool. I, I, Brian is really coming up with some amazing things. This is the lenticular cover we're offering here on Kickstarter. Oh, man, look at that. That is awesome. Just amazing. Uh, lenticulars, I think this will be our third, our second uh, Lady Death lenticular, third lenticular cover, maybe second. Do one for La Muerta. I don't recall. No. So this might be only our second lenticular cover. It's really amazing. Just amazing. Some look at some of the interior pages. That's what she said. It's so <laughs> Oh, God. The room is turned into an episode of The Office. <laughs> That's, look at those sketches. <laughs> it's Beautiful. Beautiful. And also, we just announced this. This is the Treacherous Infamy Sensual Metal. Uh, we only were offering under 100 of this. Um, so, yeah, this is a, a new infusion we just added to. Gorgeous. It's a beautiful Richard Ortiz cover. I can't wait to make this book. I can't wait to make it and get it in your guys' hand. That's going to be beautiful. So um, there, I don't know how many are left. We could almost be out. Um, blue M&Ms, I do want a blue M&M. Over here, these are our Chase, Edition, uh, Chase Editions. Hello, I just learned to speak today. Uh, <laughs> these are all done by Walt Simonson, the legend. Now, what's cool about our Chase Editions is all the color variations on the costume and the text. There's the white. There's the violet. Gold, emerald, crimson. This is the omega white. No, omega crimson. 
Omega Emerald. That's how you know you got an Omega, people. You get that big logo right there. Yeah, the hair is, is probably the most radical thing I've ever seen for Lady Death. I've never seen her hair that fill up that much space. That is really cool. I agree with you, Ace. That air, hair is really out there. Look at that. That's just really... Walt Simonson did these for us. This is amazing. This is an amazing time at Coffin Comics. Just absolutely stunning pieces. Thank you, Mr. Simonson. Then also we have... Uh, Demonic Duel set by Mr. Doza. I really love these covers. These are really just stupendous work. Um, I'm going to say I think um, these are probably some of the nicest Dan Mendoza covers we've ever been blessed with. These are beautiful, guys. Look at that detailing. I just love it. I love the facial expressions. Hi. Boom. Boom, boom, look at that. It's beautiful. Her faces are changing. It's, uh, Dan Mendoza really knows how to do it right. So we are so lucky to have such a talent like him with us on our Kickstarters, along with all the other artists. We have like Walt Simonson, uh, Mr. Mayhew. I mean, we, we, we are very lucky to have the amazing art artists we do. This is a jewel, that is a print that will be a print of our jeweled edition. These are all our 11 by 17 prints. These are available on our Kickstarter. Let's go into Kickstarter. Type in Lady Death, Treacherous Infamy. And that'll get you right to the words of Pled page. And you can see all the beautiful things we have available for you. And thank you everyone who's backed us so far. This has been a lot of fun, uh, especially doing helping out on the customer service side and helping with everyone's add-ons. It's been a lot of fun um, getting to know everyone. And this poor stand, set this down real quick. This poor book is going to fall. And yeah, it's only a mock-up, but I don't want to damage mock-ups. Someone might want to buy that later. and want it in as the best shape as we can get it, even though it is a mock-up. All right, there we go. So this is the cosplay cover everyone's been talking about. It's a stunner. I ain't going to lie. It's stunning. Here's another Richard Ortiz. This is the Naughty Edition. I love the wall of skulls that he put behind her. Just beautiful work. Especially if you're near that spooky, morbid stuff. Like we all are, right? That's right. This is the homage. This is the homage of Superman number one from 1940. Love it. I love the chains, the background. I just love all the cool little design work they did along the side of the art. It's really cool. Mock-ups are fun to collect. I, I Hopefully I can get some more uh, mock-ups to put out there for y'all. Um, right now I haven't run across any. But soon, maybe I will. Ah, this hollow foil cover. So nice. Look at this art, guys. This is stunning. Wow, I'm already blinding myself by flipping it up and down. Look at that. Now, on the Kickstarter, there's some stuff that's limited and some stuff that's not. So if you get an opportunity, scoop up what you see, because there's a lot of stuff already gone. Look at those jewels. Oh, beautiful piece, Jennifer. Thank you again. Another beautiful piece. This is the heavy metal cover. This I cannot wait to make for y'all. I really love the, the violet we used on the lettering this time. It's just really nice, soft, but it has that toughness and the grit that you expect from Lady Death. It's beautiful, beautiful work. So that's just a little sampling of all the cool stuff. And if you're new on the Kickstarter, you can also load up on all of our previous editions. Chaos Rules, Volume 1. Damnation Game, Volume 2. Extinction Express, Volume 3. Oblivion Kiss, there's your four. Five, Unholy Ruin. Or Merciless Inslot, followed by Unholy Ruin. That's Chapter 6. These are all available. You can either get them now at the Coffin Comic Shop by clicking the link. 
I do have some of these available on the eBay store for the same price as they are in the store, or you could scoop it all up uh, as one of the Kickstarter sets if you'd like as well. Chapter 7, Apocalyptic Abyss. Chapter 8, Nightmare Symphony. Chapter 9, Scorched Earth. Chapter 10, Blasphemy Anthem. Chapter 11, Malevolent Decimation. <laughs> oh, I almost butchered it again. And then this newest Kickstarter is for Chapter 12, Treacherous Infamy. So there you have it. This is this is a lot of stuff we offer for the Kickstarter. I mean, we offer a ton of stuff. And that's even these beautiful fine art prints we have here. Just really top quality paper. I don't want to touch it so it doesn't fall or break or get damaged because I'm a klutz. I'll admit it. I'm a total klutz. Even ask my wife. I can, I can trip over something um, that's by just standing still. Yeah, I'm that bad. But yeah, here's some of the... Yeah, these are free tippins. We're going to just throw randomly throw these into orders. These two editions. I will always combine shipping for everyone. Yes. I do do combine shipping everyone on eBay. Um, did some tinkering with some of the shipping to find the cheaper rates. And I think I got some. Um, but always, please ask for an invoice, ask for a combo for shipping. If you order, I, I had someone order me a couple, uh, order a couple things that were just a couple hours apart. So I went ahead and just, you know, combined their orders. Um, cause yeah, <laughs> it's like, oh, well, this is just done a few minutes apart. Um, I'm not going to charge you the shipping for two things. I'll just merge it. Um, I also pick and pack the orders myself on eBay. Um, and when if I have time, I try to leave everyone a little personal note just to add a personal touch. Um, but yes, I will totally do combined shipping for Miguel or anyone else who asks. Let's head on back into our little studio, also known as the boutique. Can't wait till everything gets back to normal and we can get this beautiful, beautiful boutique all opened up for you and get some more exclusives so that was just a little rundown of what we got going on at kickstarter it's been really well there is some additions that are out but it's still a great opportunity to get a lot of great stuff the free bonus packs we make alone are just unbelievable i mean it amazes me how much stuff we can cram into that little bag and it's stickers it's pogs pogs we're doing pogs boom Slammers, we're not doing those, but you can use your challenge coin as a slammer to play Pogs. We should probably do a video on how to play Pogs so that a lot of people are asking, what are Pogs? Pogs, I was told originally, it was a big thing in, in, in uh, Hawaii. Um, people would save the um, bottoms of the milk caps and they'd stack them up and get like a, a heavy piece of round whatever, round to it, whatever you want to call it, call them a slammer, you throw them down on top and whatever flips over is yours, you get to keep. So I here I am in my early 20s working in a comic shop, able to drink, so you know on the weekends I'm hungover. Um, so we're out there getting ready to set up for the pog tournament. Everyone throws down their pogs the same then, wham, 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 wham. Yeah, boom, 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 yeah. So that's when I realized I drank lots of water after I left the bars on Friday nights because I knew there was going to be a pod tournament in the morning. My head was going to be split. So over here at the main store, I'm going to show you guys some more prints. We've got lots of different prints. They're coming in and out like this. This is from Nightmare Symphony. This is uh, the naughty one we did for that. These are all prints you can get on the prints on the Coffin Comics shop. Just definitely go down to Coffin Comics. Type in in the search engine what you want. Prints, comics, character books. Type in Hellwitch, La Muerta, Lady Death, Zack. Type in the characters and it'll show you what we have available. We've got prints. We've got graphic novels. We've got 
challenge coin sets, like I showed you earlier. We have full sets of those. Um, lots of great stuff in there. I don't know if we have any more hats, but that's where you would find baseball hats, trucker hats, t-shirts if we have any available. Click on the Coffin Comic Shop link and do some searching. Maybe find yourself an early Christmas present. This is another 11 by 17 print. This is the La Raza from La Muerta Ascension, I believe we offered that. And all our prints are $16. <clears throat> Uh, everything that can be signed, we can get signed for you. Just ask. Also on the eBay store, if there's something you'd like signed, please uh, message me in the messages for the buyers. Say, hey, I would like this, all the books signed, or can this one be signed? Um, I've had people make certain requests that the signature look a certain way. Um, who does Jonathan Stone? I helped him with that. So, um, yeah. Just ask, we'll get it signed for you. We'll include the COA. It is no extra fee at all. And that's great, it's a free signature. <clears throat> Genevieve Brumall did this really gorgeous, gorgeous Hellwitch for us. This is an 11 by 17. Click on the look, on the link, on the look, and uh, type in uh, the artist's name, Genevieve Brumall, or type in Hellwitch. Or type in La Muerta. Available. We have tons of prints. We're always bringing out prints. I think um, right now on the Kickstarter, we have so many prints uh, we're offering up, it's crazy. Uh, I think we even threw in an extra five for free. So we do some great stuff on that Kickstarter. I highly recommend it. Uh, this is also from the La Muerta Ascension from the last Kickstarter. This was the jeweled edition. This is a really beautiful piece, jeweled or unjeweled. Um, the jeweled cover they made for this had the um, jewels inside the some of the roses candles I mean it's a beautiful piece Shannon really does an amazing job on these beer pogs uh, beer pogs so whoever wins the most pogs drinks the most beer is that is that what we're going for Bob because that sounds like um, a good way to get alcohol poisoning <laughs> Another cool Hell Witch print from Jim Ballant. This is called Hell Witch Legend. These are all things you can find at the Coffin Comics store. I do have some prints on the eBay store, but they're mystery packs. There are five random prints. Um, some are signed, some are limited. They're just five random prints. And it's five for 25 on the eBay store. Uh, I think I have maybe seven or eight sets left, and that's it. Um, I'll probably need to make some more here in the upcoming future. This book, uh, just this image just completely sells itself. Um, this is the Sworn. This is just beautiful. Mike Chrome. Beer Pong. Yeah, we could probably think of something coming up for that. We guys, we still have a little while till Swarm Fest, and I really think that would be something. A fun game to do with the pogs we have. Right on, guys. Look at that. It's kind of up already. Some of the cool things we're known for here at Coffin Comics is our homages. And we also do homages as prints. Brian Polito. Stephen Butler and Dan Feldmeyer. Look at this. This is the Captain Death. I love that we got it all the way down to all the different uh, Marvel slogans from that year, like the all new coffin now instead of all new Marvel now. F the world. I don't think Marvel would ever put that on there. This is, this is great. I love our homages, and I'm glad we're actually doing an art book collecting all of them. Um, that is also available on the Kickstarter. Uh, there is a limited edition one, and there is a standard edition each one is going to have beautiful illustrations, all these different homages um, that we've done. And I think there's a couple stuff that we haven't shown yet. So new material. We're all, Brian's got an archive of art um, and books. God only knows how many archives that man has. Here's another one. This is the Art Nouveau. This was the jeweled edition for um, Malevolent Decimation, I believe. Gorgeous. Beautiful. Yes, I need a brewski. Brewski sounds good. You guys are talking about all this beer. I'm going to have to swing by the store. 
and get me a six pack of, uh, what did I drink last weekend? Um, a little something something. Good beer, I recommend it. Very strong, you only need like one or two and you're good to go. Another beautiful piece Colette Turner did for us. Now I have a jeweled edition uh, of this art. Um, I wanna say it is soft cover. It's not a metal cover, but it's beautiful. Really beautiful. Colette Turner's art, she, she really does this softness on her Lady Death, but it also has this soft, eerie look that she does in the face that I really like. It's like, you know, just beautiful beauty shining through, but just the way it's like, she's not smiling, she's not smirking, it's just that deadpan look that's just like, God, it's beautiful. Beautiful work. So thank you, Colette Turner. That's a gorgeous piece. I actually would love like a Fabergé eggs, like that, with the skulls and the jewels. That would look gaudy and beautiful. Um, here's one, David Finch. And this one is an example of how, um, this is the, I believe we called it the Gotham, Gothic. But as you can see, we do have some stuff that's already signed. Um, sometimes we'll have extra things signed just so when we're pulling orders, uh, we don't have to lay them out. There's at least a little bit of a backup to kind of buffer. Um, so that way folks in the warehouse can really um, rush and get the books out to you guys in your orders, prints, whatever it may be. We really work hard to get it out uh, as quickly as possible. This right here is, is one of my favorite covers we've done by one of my favorite cover artists. This is Adam Hughes. And this we used for Scorched Earth. That is just beautiful. How am I today? Joseph, I am doing good. It's a case of the Mondays, but one thing that's cool about this Monday is it's actually going by fairly fast. Um, yeah, aside from me like walking into a couple walls and um, I think I even hit my head getting inside the car today. Um, yeah, uh, it's a Monday. That means my klutziness um, goes to um, a level of 10 on Mondays. Otherwise, it's normally it's a seven or an eight. Huh. Mike Diodato, Diodato Jr. is in the house. Beautiful pieces, guys. These are all stuff you can get, 11 by 17 prints at the Coffin Comics store. Or if you want, you can take a gamble on the eBay store. We have uh, little grab bags of prints uh, that I have made up. There was 25 originally, I'm now down to eight, but it's five prints, $25, they're all random, so there'll be some, possibly it could be all Lady Death, it could be Lady Death from Muerta with Hell Witch, it could be Hell Witch with Muerta, Lady Death, and it's a mix of everything I could get my hands on. Uh, some of them are signed, so if they're signed, I'll throw a COA in your uh, little mystery uh, pack I make, but five prints, $25 on the eBay store, just click on the link, or we also make our own prints. These are 11 by 17s. They are available at the Coffin Comic Shop. Just go ahead and type in prints or look up prints and it should show you everything we have that's available. Everything can be signed both at the Coffin Comic Shop and at eBay and we will include a certificate of authenticity of those. Another classic from Jim Ballant. Um, I don't know who bought the set, but whoever did, I hope they, um, I sold it with the the graveyard so I found the uh, chrome card from the 90s and I put it with the book I had uh, on the eBay store yeah I have to say we make some really beautiful prints Joseph I mean gorgeous stuff it's amazed me is uh, at some shows I've done at coffin or booths man we have guys that just pick up nothing but prints and it's pretty freaking awesome. Okay. Harrigan, this one was really popular when we still had some of these books. Uh, this is Lady Death Bombshell. I believe this was also uh, used for the B cover um, for Nightmare Symphony 2. Could be mistaken, it's been a while, but when this book came out, I remember 
um, QAing them, and oh my gosh, um, I thought they were amazing. And then we were noticing that people were just scooping them up by multiples, and eBay became a hot cover. It was just like all over the place, absolutely crazy. This is the hot rockin'. Beautiful piece, beautiful. And all these are prints, just click on the links for the Coffin Comic Store, and when you get to the Coffin Comic Shop, just go ahead and type in the search engine, prints, or you can look at the prints, and I'll bring a drop-down menu of the characters, you can click on the Lady Death, shows you all the prints that are available there, click on Huertas, same thing, Hellwitch, et cetera, et cetera. It's a really cool website, and I hope everyone has been enjoying the changes we've done on it. But also to show you guys some examples of some of the weird stuff I'll put in a grab box uh, that I put on eBay is like a lot of older prints uh, that one you don't see much or they were the last of them and we're like, okay, well, that one's done. Like, boom. Death Chopper. That's amazing. Um, if you were looking, we had a metallic card of this but it sold out. I was actually looking for one for one of my customers, Will Hertzberg, and I'm completely out of the metallic card. But if you love this image, we still have some prints, so check them out. Um, some other cool stuff I went ahead that are in the grab bags I mixed. Like, I found some old Michael Turner prints, so I threw some of those in the mix. Um, for the five for 25 deal uh, for prints that are random. So it's almost like buying a giant pack of cards. And inside those cards, or inside that pack is a craptacular of five beautiful 11 by 17 prints, stuff like this. Dark Funeral, I believe that one is. Stuff from Sabine Rich. Naughty Paramore, the Harrigan piece. There's lots of stuff like this just randomly put into these packs I've made um, over at the eBay store, and they're called the grab bags. Print grab bags. Five prints, $25, only on the eBay store is where I got them. Oh my God, all these weird messages coming through. So we've got 18 minutes. Um, we've got a couple announcements. Today is the last day for pre-ordering the Lady Death action figure. So you have till today, 5 p.m. Um, Pacific. So that would be 8 p.m. Eastern time. So a few more hours, or God, what are we talking, a few more minutes, oh my God. So that will no longer be available. All the pre-orders will be shutting down. Why do we get all these weird messages so late in the day for folks? I don't know. I just don't know. Oh, cool. I hope I can run across one of those F-13s, man. I would love to show that. So yes, pre-orders for the Lady Death action figure in today. So if you haven't or you've been hemming and hawing, you probably got around 20 minutes to get it done. So more hemming and hawing. Just put down your deposit for the Lady Death action figure. The item will be shipping out in December, so still got some time. Also, we have coming up 13th anniversary of Coffin Comics. It's going to be the Sworn Weekend. It'll be Friday, August 28th to Sunday, August 30th. Um, here's what we would like. Um, Brian was a guest at Dragon Con in 2017, comic book program Tom uh, Thrainer encouraged Brian to do an exclusive edition. Pluto took, took on that challenge, uh, but needed a company name. He chose Coffin. And then on August 31st, 2017, Brian attended Dragon Con and published three exclusive editions. Now here's what we'd like you guys to do. We want you to snap pics and post them to win cool prizes. Uh, snap pics, post them uh, to uh, social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, with the hashtags Sworn Day to win prizes on August 28th, 29th, and 30th, the Sworn Weekend. Post your coffin swag, comics, and apparel on the Sworn Weekend. Um, 
we will be giving prizes out for the following. Best heartfelt social media post. Funniest social media post. Best Coffin Comics collection display. Sexiest post of a gal reading Coffin Comics. Sexiest post of a guy reading Coffin Comics. Best animal post. <laughs> Get your furry uh, friends involved. So these are kind of stuff. Uh, take the pictures uh, with your coffin t-shirts, your mugs, your challenge coins. This is the 13th anniversary of Coffin Comics. This is this weekend. For our 13th anniversary, we will be, uh, dive back into our storied publishing history and represent classic inner, uh, imagery in new, fun, and tantalizing ways. All books offered this weekend will be time release, meaning we offer them for a fixed period and then we shut it down. Once upon this time, these editions are retired. So, also on the store, you can get 20% off most store items, comics, prints, merch, trades, art books, hard covers, metallic cards. That's 20% off nearly everything at the Coffin Comics uh, shop, including the new sluices. That's pretty freaking awesome. I don't know if anyone that offers a new exclusive and gives you a sale discount the same day they're offering. That's, that's pretty legit, guys. Not a lot of people do that. Um, let's see. Important note, the 20% off promotional savings do not apply to handcrafted editions, statues, figures, or advanced pre-order uh, items, this does count. This uh, discount does not stack with other discounts. So I say go with the twenty. I hear you out there, Brandy. <laughs> okay, so everything starts Friday, August twenty eighth at nine a.m. and ends Monday, August thirty first at five p.m. Pacific Daylight Time, which is eight p.m. for all you folks on the East Coast. How's everyone out on the East Coast? Um, I hope everyone's doing okay with the two uh, storms heading into the Gulf. <coughs> Excuse me, myself and my wife have a lot of family out there, so I hope you guys are hunkering down. Hopefully, it just disappears and nothing happens at all. Um, but if it does happen, hunker down, be safe. Uh, let me know um, how everything goes uh, once power and phone services are back. Hopefully, it'll not be a doozy like they're predicting. Hopefully, it'll just be like a... A little okay the storm's over that's what I'm hoping because yeah hurricanes are not fun okay here's some of the exclusives we are offering for the 13th anniversary Lady Death 1 metallic warrior edition so that means during the sale you can get that metallic version price is a hundred dollars you can get it 20% off um, yeah that's pretty pretty awesome uh, for coffin comments, uh, this uh, 13th anniversary, we get with Lady Death number one, a metallic edition, which is the first ever metal comic book cover, published in May 2013. The original was presented in black and white tone. Here, they're going to do it for full color for the first time. It's going to be 24 pages, metal front cover. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Marat Michaels, Jason Jensen. Here we go. This is a really beautiful cover, guys. Get this. And this also will be 20% off during the uh, 13th anniversary sale. This is Lady Death Chaos Rules Naughty Virgin Art Edition. This is, this is beautiful. I think that's the perfect book to reprint for our 13th anniversary. Look at it. The price is $25, and you still get the 20% 20 off sale deal 20 bucks you can save five bucks now i have to let you guys know, know there is order limits to these items though too so far everything is limited to two copies per customer per household that's limit two copies each household is allowed two of the metal editions two of the naughty virgin art edition and two of the ritual hall of foil edition these covers, look at this hall of foil one. Look at that. It's $60, but during the weekend, you can get it at 20% off for 48 bucks. That's a great deal. That's awesome. I have never worked for a company where they have something that you could uh, get 
the same day they're offering it for 20% off. I have not worked for a company that has done that yet. So we're looking out for you guys, and we, we've been in the game for 13 years now, so it's really beautiful, and I'm glad I get to be a part of it. It's really cool because the fiends in the swarm are a hell of a group of people. If you're new to the group, please introduce yourselves. It's so one thing we like to see is introductions. Everyone just get in the room, introduce yourselves, say hello. Oh, is Carmen on? Carmen is here. Hmm. Let's see if I can get anyone. Fiddlesticks. Jeff's gone. Haley, do you want to be on camera tonight? Yay or nay, young lady? Yay or nay? I want to take that as a nay. Yeah, I know. This sale is great. This sale is really cool. Um, you get to get the new editions we're offering for the 13th anniversary, and you get 20% off. Um, that's really cool stuff, guys. Uh, in retail, that's like unheard of. Do you offer your newest stuff for twenty percent off? Here we go. So that's the announcements today. I got ten minutes. I want to see if uh, let me get a shout out to everyone. Bob, thank you for joining us. Haley, of course. Michelle, thank you. Or Melissa, thank you. Carmen, thank you, of course. Bob is always amazing. Miguel, of course. Got to give a shout out to Miguel. Joseph Hardy, thank you very much um, for joining us. I'm never presentable these days. Oh, all right. I'm going to bring Joseph on real quick to end the show. Let's see if I can get him going. Bink. Come on. All right. Let's, let's see if Joseph can... Come on, see if it's gonna work. Work, 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 really work, really work. Work again. Well, that's, oh, hey, we work. Woo! Shout out, brother man. Introduce yourself to the group. What's up, dude? What's up, man? How are you today? I'm chilling like a villain. That's the only way to do it. Yeah. How's the weather out in your parts? Oh, we're finally getting a touch of fall in the air. What's that? Is that when I fall down because I trip over something? Because that happens a lot. Or as, as the cultured say, autumn. Autumn? What's <laughs> autumn? That's a girl I knew in junior high. <laughs> There's no autumn in Arizona. It's just hot, not so hot. No, it, when it gets about 78 in the evening, that feels amazing. Right on. Right on. So what kind of <laughs> stuff have you picked up uh, today in your collections or over the weekend? What you've been hunting down? Uh, I'm still um, adding to my collection. Mm -hmm. The last thing I got as far as Lady Death was the, uh, the uh, oh gosh, the Decimation. Malevolent Decimation? Yes. yes. The number one of that one. Nice. What's some other things? Because I put, um, I try to put the same stuff they have on the store, on the eBay store, but I also get some of the weird, like, wow, here's this edition that we forgot existed. So I've been putting stuff up on there. Um, luckily, I've been able to find some old uh, chaos stuff too. When I get, I try to throw it up there real quick. Have you read any of the old, uh, older stuff or are you just sticking with the new? Well, um, I did have that gold embossed um lady death issue nice that was so I, I like that that's a good one i'm starting to get into um to more vampirella but it's more a cover by than anything yeah i do um i had some actually lady death vampirella crossover books i'm hoping i can get some more my hands on some more because those are really cool um Especially in the 90s, it seemed like publishers were all about sharing characters and uniting characters. And I wish um, Marvel and DC would get their heads out of their butts and do stuff like they used to in the 90s. You know, kind of make it fan for all the, you know, fun for all the fans. Those silly yeah, I got crossovers. a good crossover for you. What's that? 
they need to do a crossover of uh, Lady Death and Roger Rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> that would be something. That would be crazy. That would be crazy. Or maybe just Lady Death and uh, Jessica Rabbit. There you go. Yeah. That I mean, they're making all the cool. other homages. That are, uh, you know, may, maybe more homages that way, but, you know, I don't know who owns the Roger Rabbit. I think it's still Disney still owns that like they do everything else. So yeah, they could have a Jessica death. Yeah, I, 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 well, we actually did, uh, David Harrigan did a homage, uh, during the last Kickstarter. That was really cool. Um, I'm hoping to get some hands on those ones, but I have a feeling they're like way gone, like a bunch of other stuff. Uh, I've been trying to find, just can't get them anymore. So I wonder if they would be able to do in the same universe as, uh, Something like maybe Savage Dragon or something. Who knows? I'm sure more of the independent publishers would be a lot more um, willing to do crossovers with different characters. Um, oh, dude, here's a good one Bob put up. Uh, Lady Death and Lady Mechanica. Yes, that mm. would be gorgeous. That would be one beautiful book. I'd like to see the Max and, uh, and Lady Death or... Uh, Lobo in Lady of Death or something like that. <laughs> Man, Max, I that is one book that really blew my mind. And um, <clears throat> I've often wondered, it's like, will it ever get finished? And someone said, no, it broke the creator. I'm like, wow, that broke Sam Keith. It's like, that, that's... <laughs> what? Uh, <laughs> oh, don't say that. I, Thank God my daughter isn't watching this. She'll want me to get her one of those. <laughs> well, I'm going to wrap it if up. If you ever there. need the website, I know where to get it. There you go. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, I'm going to see if I can get one more person on. I will see you next week, of course. Yes. Yes, we're sworn. Right on, man. Thank you for joining me again. Right on. All right, have a good one. Be safe. Right. Later. You too. Bye-bye. Okay. See if I can bring one more person on before I shut down. Ah, Joseph. There's Joseph. Oh, no one else wants to get on there. Oh, wow. Looks like I'm actually almost running out of time. Okay. Well, real quick, uh, thank you everyone who's been uh, helping out with the uh, Kickstarters. Uh, it's been going really nuts. Uh, more and more. <laughs> um, Orders are coming in. Um, I'm looking forward to jumping up on the uh, health decks to, uh, to help you guys out with your add-ons and what have you. So, um, and yes, M Miguel, that is true. 95 degrees is pretty much fall in Arizona. It sucks. So, anywho. Um, yeah. Uh, thank you, everyone, for backing us. Uh, I will be on Kickstarter uh, on and off throughout the week, uh, answering your guys' questions and at throwing on those add-ons that you all have been asking for. And it's been a lot of fun to get to know some of you guys. Thank you for the people who uh, have watched this, sh this show on YouTube and sent a shout-out to me. Um, that was really cool to hear. Uh, thank you very much. I'm glad you're enjoying the show. And thank you for letting me know that you appreciate me being part of the Coffin Comics family. Um, it's a great place to work. We work hard. We play hard, and we do it all for you. So thank you, everybody. I hope you have a wonderful week. May it be full of all good things. And I'm Julian the Hooligan. I'm sworn to you. I'm out of here. Have a good night, everyone. Bye-bye.